welcome back you sixth and seventh grade campers. We're right back into ratio and proportion in preparation for that Florida FSA, F, MAFSA math test for all you sixth and seventh graders. And one of the areas we're gonna cover is ratio and proportion 1.2, recognize and represent relationship between quantities. In this particular substandard, you're trying to understand whether or not do a ratio form a proportion. That means that do these particular two ratios that we're comparing, do they comport? Do they compare? Are they equal? Are they equivalent? All right, are they part of each other? Is one part of the other? So the vocabulary here, proportion is, is it a part of the whole or is it relate in relationship to the whole itself? Is it part of it or is it equal to the whole itself? In this particular example, we're going 18 over nine. Now, if we were writing as a ratio, it'd be written as 18, as relationship to nine, colon to nine, or two with a colon and a one. Now. We want to answer yes or no. Is there a proportional relationship to it? When written as a fraction, 18 over 9 and 2 to 1, we want to look at the common multiples, common denominator here, 9 and 1. Now, this is an odd number, and that's an odd number. If we can, we multiply something by this, and that will equal this. And what if we multiply by the bottom? We're equal to, should we have to multiply by the top. So we know a simple multiple of, of 9 and 1 is 1 times 9. Well, we multiply by the bottom, we multiply by the top. So nine on the bottom, let's multiply by the top. So two times nine will equal to 18. So we know nine times one is equal to nine, and two times nine is equal to 19. So we know that these two do have a proportional relationship, that this can be considered part of this. That's what, there is a relationship. So two over one is equal to that. But also a simple rule we want to also remember, 18 over nine is an improper fraction. That's a quick, Thing that we need to recognize and two over one is also an improper fraction whenever we see an improper fraction we really see a whole number so actually this represents the same number that this represents this represents nine goes into 18 two times one goes into two two times so both of these are actually basically saying the exact same thing that's what makes them equivalent so remember boys and girls you have to be able to identify do ratios form a proportional relationship do these two ratios have a relationship where, it, where one is either part or equal to the whole? And the answer to this is yes. So as we wrap this up, you're gonna go practice this standard under J9, J.9, under math, under ratio and proportion, under 1.2. So we look forward to seeing you in the next class. Remember, believe in yourself and have a great day.